Hey, good morning. We're not on a bicycle today, but since we're not, I have a poem for you. I'm super excited to read this poem for you. You ready? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, right, of course. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the Morning Ride Pedal Powered Podcast. I'm just a dude on a bicycle, on a couch, um, and we're just having conversations about um, how I'm trying to evolve as a filmmaker, as a poet, as a human being. And I'm really grateful to be on the ride with you this morning um, for all kinds of reasons. I am mean, not on the bicycle this morning, but um, still happy to be on the ride with you. Part of my ride, of course, is um, talking about poetry, because I love poetry. Um, today, I'm gonna read something from uh, Bob Hickok, This Clumsy Living. Um, so, it's poetry time. Isn't it cool? We get to actually like read a poem since, you know, we're not peddling. So, this is from Bob Hickok's uh, collection called This Clumsy Living. The poem is called The Active Reader. Reading a used book on evolution, I wonder about fingerprints, how long they live. Were the fingers licked before the pages were turned? Did the owner of the book of the fingerprints read in the bathroom? Ah. Okay, folks. So, in true fashion, no edits, we're going to start over. How about that? This is called The Active Reader. <laughs> Reading a used book on evolution, I wonder about fingerprints, how long they live. Were the fingers licked before the pages were turned? Did the owner of the book of the fingerprints read in the bathroom? Will there be a hair on page 231? On a train, did he take the sea uptown? Did she eat lunch with the pigeons and hold the book open with her foot? as she sat cross-legged on the lawn of the municipal building. A short hair, curly and black or blonde and straight, as long as my finger? Was she reading instead of getting her license on the day she'd promised to after five months of dreading the DMV? Instead of looking into the bill for lab tests, $177 to peek into her blood, her urine. Instead of calling the furnace guy and dealing with his boots on the carpet, with his mouth moving in front of hers, with the expectation of small talk? Did the book keep her from visiting her mother and asking about the MS? Did he hold the book between his face and his wife? Is it how he asked for a divorce? By not speaking? By not saying the name Leaky over and over again to himself? By letting the pages stand in for his face? Will I become everyone who read this book? Did their eyes change the letters? Is reading a sexual act, is there congress between the text and my gaze? Is there no mirror left me but words? Why am I afraid of people? Why do I talk behind them to the edge of their shadows? Why did the continents drift? Why didn't the, st the thumb stay put? Is fear what it means to be human? Am I what it means to be human? Why did the brain ransom the heart to the mouth? Why did we ever come down from the trees? Man, that is a poem. Bob Hickok, This Clumsy Living. I love this collection of poems. Um, actually, I love every collection of Bob Hickok poems. Thank you to our friend Susanna up in Alaska who introduced us to him. Um, I hope you enjoyed that poem. It's kind of fun being able to actually read poems and uh, and share those with you because I love sharing poetry with people. Um, so thanks for being on my ride, my other ride, my other bicycle. Hey, if you love riding a bicycle, and it doesn't matter what your bike is, one of my bicycles is a bicycle, one of my bicycles is a book of poems. If you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle, whatever your bicycle is. I hope you get a chance to be on your ride today. Thanks for letting me be a part of your ride. I'm grateful to be on this ride with you. It's the only one we get, folks. I am looking forward to seeing you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Have a great weekend.